day 22 of Strictly Juicing. And um, we got our new juicer yesterday. And as you can see, these are juices made by the new juicer. And our new juicer is a NAMI, uh, I can't remember the actual model number, I think it's 5800, something like that. But the juices come out cleaner. There's this, there's papaya in here, you can't even tell, it's straight juice. There's no clump. And like with the other juicer, when I would juice the papayas, it looked more like a smoothie than it looked like actual juice. And this one as well. These are like random mixtures, so I can't remember the, what I put in them or what we put in them. But they all look the same, but they're not. They're different actual um, fruits and, and vegetables. I do know this one has papaya, pineapple, white and purple carrots, and, and um, I don't know. Um, I know this is, should be this orange, orange, orange carrots, oranges, lemons. And I don't know. Oh, and a kiwi in, um, in this as well. And I, I just don't know what this is. I can't remember. It was kind of late. But the one thing I can say, it only took me an hour to juice. Uh, let me, how many times did I juice? To juice about, about 18 jars of juice. Well, no, more. Actually, I'm sorry. Because I also did eight jars of celery water. I mean, celery juice. So, uh about 26 jars of juice, it took me an hour. With the other juicer, I was juicing almost two to three hours to make all of that. And with the celery water, I would normally, I would normally use three full stalks of celery to come out to eight jars. With the new juicer, with the Nama, I used two stalks and came out with eight jars and some left over. So, it juices a lot more out of the fruit and vegetables. And when the, the pulp comes out from the fruits and vegetables, it's a lot drier. It's not sitting inside of the machine along with the juice. So you don't see juice pockets inside of the actual waste. So, so far I love the Nama. It's a quick, ju it's a quick juicer. It's quieter and it gets more juice out of it. And it's easy to clean. It pushes out the waste out the side so the waste isn't even sitting in the same reservoir as the actual fruit because that's the problem with some of the other juices but the juicer we had we have the other one the um nutribullet juicer that's the problem it has where the waste is still sitting inside of the machine and it's not put outside of it so you have to constantly clean it the nama i only cleaned it in between different juices so when i made this juice i let it fill up and then cleaned it same thing with this one and then this one was just the end all and then to the celery the celery juice. There's no grit in there, there's no clumps in there. Like yes, last week I made a juice and because it was so many berries and berries in it, it made it through the filters into the juice. This one doesn't have that problem. Everything is actual juice and it's broken down into just liquid form and the pulp is pushed out to the side in a, a different container. And you can dump that as you go along or you can wait. But it gets a lot more juice out of the fruits and vegetables. And I, I'm glad that we invested in this juicer. Now it is day 22, so we only had the other juicer for a little bit over a month. But we knew once we got into this juicer that we was going to switch up for a better juicer. Because the better juicers do make, it, make, it, make a big difference. Less prep time, less time juicing. And less time in the kitchen or wherever you're gonna juice it at, and you can you can get some rest, or you can do it early in the morning, or you can do it late in the morning, late at night, and you're not gonna be waking everybody up. The other juicer, it sounds like a goddamn vacuum cleaner leaf blower when you in there trying to sleep. So, with that being said, now I can go on with my my physical state. I feel great, no issues. I took a nap yesterday because I was just dead tired from working. And then I still got up today at five o'clock on the nose. I got up before my alarm and just sat there and waited for it to go off. So I'm everything. I'm getting better. This hoodie used to be tight to the to the t to my chest. It's loose everywhere. If y'all can see it, my PlayStation hoodie is loose. Like I used to fill this hoodie in, and I used to have a problem. But look at that. All that is loose. 
So this juicing does work. You just gotta give it a chance and be patient with it. And for me, the health benefits outweigh any type of pro eating processed foods. So what I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all from the bottom of my heart, if you really wanna get your shit together and get healthy, start with juicing. Try to juice one meal and then move up to two meals. And you don't have to go balls to the wall like I did with three meals. You can just do two meals and two juices and one meal. Because it's all about being healthy and, and doing this at your own pace. And my pace was just like, fuck it. I'm going to get it done and I'm going to do it the best way possible to get the best results. And that was to remove food altogether. So with it being said and done, today's day 22. I'm feeling good. I'm happy. Everything is going good for me with the juicing, my health, working out. I did a late night workout before I went to bed as well because, you know, I, I went to sleep as soon as I went, came home from work and I didn't get to do my workout. So as soon as I finished my juicing, I did a, a quick 10 minute workout and then I um, hopped in the shower and, and went to bed. This morning though, I can say when I got up, I wasn't groggy or nothing. I normally not since I've been juicing, but you know, you said the earlier I get up, the less time it takes me to actually get out of bed now. When I was eating meat and you know, eating that eating bad and eating nasty, I couldn't get up. Like I would I have a my my alarm would be on at five. I would bypass that one and then get up at the five thirty alarm. I was up before the five o'clock alarm and I was I was sitting there waiting for the five fifteen alarm to go and then I, I hopped back in the shower. These changes that I have made are working for me and they should work for you as well. As long as you follow the guidelines, which is, you know, if you're gonna juice, try not to still eat the same nasty stuff that you've been eating. Try to change it up. I'm not saying you gotta go balls to the wall and eating salads and all that other stuff, but please don't be eating all that processed and fried food. Like, come on now. If you're gonna be eating that bad, man, you must just go around eating cans of Spam. If, that's if you know what Spam is, because some people don't know what Spam is. Because, you know, Spam was a, Think of back in the day, but um, just be healthy, and I'm always here to help. As always, my social media: Instagram sak211l, TikTok sak211l, YouTube sak211l, and like I said, I got my PlayStation hoodie on. Soon, I'm gonna try to my um, gamers jersey on because, like I say all the time, I'm in Anchor Gamers. And uh, we have a presence on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Melee, damn near every app. Disc we have our own Discord for members. If you want to join, you know, holler at us. Like I said before, I don't have no power in the group. I'm just an old school game. I play the old school games and, you know, I collect a lot of video games. So I hold up that end of the bargain. I ain't too good at, the, you know, first person shooters and stuff like that. But I'll try to play them because, you know, I was good at one point in time. But I haven't played Call of Duty in maybe about 10 years. And that, that 10 years, that's a, that's a big time. <coughs> I mean, no, I can't say 10 years. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Five years. Because I had it um, in 2015. But um, all we are about is having fun when we're gaming. We, we used to have game nights, but you know, that had to stop due to COVID. Hopefully we can get it back together and have some more game nights uh, coming in the um, summer if everything is right. And if we do, I'll have it outside instead of inside of my game room. So that way we're proper ventilated and we can have, we can adhere to the to spacing if we have to. But um, today is a good day. Uh, as y'all can see, I don't have to go straight to work. I'm sitting up here chilling and it's uh, 6.35, I mean, well, 6.40, I'm sorry. The clock is um, slow right here because somebody trying to make us stay to work later than what we have to be. They, they, they petty, petty, real petty because I fix that clock every week and it goes right back to five minutes slow. So I know it's somebody in here being petty. Y'all have a nice day and stay healthy. Message me if you need me.